listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Wednesday, July 26th, 2023. Today is also the feast day of Saints Anne and Joachim, the grandparents of Jesus. However, before we talk about them, please join me in praying the prayer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O most holy heart of Jesus, fountain of every blessing, I adore you, I love you, and with lively sorrow for my sins, I offer you this poor heart of mine. Make me humble, patient, pure, and wholly obedient to your will. Grant, good Jesus, that I may live in you and for you. Protect me in the midst of danger. Comfort me in my afflictions. Give me health of body, assistance in my temporal needs, your blessing on all that I do, and the grace of a holy death. Amen. So this week we have been looking at the saints celebrating feast days this week and just remarking on how God has guided these saints through the Holy Spirit to reveal truth and to also guide us to heaven. So Christina the Astonishing offered powerful proof of purgatory and calls us to remember to pray for the dead. And St. Christopher, although his story has been mixed with legend, still offers us powerful truths and challenges us to reflect on who we are serving and where we are traveling to. So today's saint, saints, Saint Anne and Joachim, are Mary's parents. Now, Anne and Joachim are not mentioned in the Bible. However, from the very earliest written Christian records, they have been included among the saints. And we don't know a ton about them, but we do believe that they were older when they finally had Mary, that they prayed many years for a child, and also that they separately received visions about who this child would be and how she would have God's grace working through her. So we don't know many of the details, but we can assume that they were alive, at least at the very beginning of Mary's marriage to Joseph, that they very likely met Jesus after he was born and played at least some role in his life. So why is this important? Well, it's important because remembering St. Anne and Joachim remind us that Jesus was born to a real family. Oftentimes we talk about the Holy Family, and this includes Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. But Jesus belonged to an even larger family than this. He had grandparents. He had aunts and uncles and cousins. Very likely he lived near some of these people in Nazareth. He did chores with them. He played games with them. Maybe he went to Torah school with them. But all of these people were part of his lives. And what I like to reflect on very often is that Jesus becoming part of a real human family, through that act, God has blessed all human families and all human familial relationships. Now, today, specifically, we reflect on how Jesus blesses our relationships with our grandparents, how our grandparents' choice to follow Jesus and be holy very often has an impact on us. We know that Anne and Joachim were holy people. They were prayerful. They received visions from God. They raised Mary in that holiness, in that consecrated life to God and that she therefore was able to be this beautiful mother to God. And so my challenge to you and St. Anne and Joachim's challenge to you as well today is to do something loving and wonderful for your own grandparents. If you don't have grandparents in your life, biological grandparents, then I challenge you to remember the elders in your life that do play an important role. Give them a hug, say thank you, make them a card, but do something for your grandparents today. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, 
continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Just one more thing. If you are looking for a fun summer boredom buster or some great activity to do on your next car trip, I encourage you to download our Summer with the Saints free PDF. Tons of fun coloring and games and activities that are sure to not only keep you entertained, but also teach you a little bit about our great friends in heaven, the saints. You can download this free activity guide by following the links included in this podcast notes. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.